tasks here, tasks there, tasks everywhere. Feeling overwhelmed by your endless to-do lists? I think we all do. And what if I told you there's a way to turn chaos into clarity with just one tool? Well, I've got good news for you because I'm sharing one of the project management services around, which I'm certain is going to make your work life much, much easier. Welcome to my monday.com review. I've been using monday.com for years now, and honestly, it's been getting better and better with each version of its software. It's not just a space to take off some tasks too, you know, it's a home to manage your business in almost every area. And don't get me wrong, it's not perfect, okay? But there's a reason I rely on it daily. Let me show you why. In this video, I'll cover its core features and explain how you can benefit from them. I'm also going to cover what Monday is like to use on a daily basis and how you can integrate it with other work-based tools. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly why I think it's the best option for project managers. And of course, we'll cover how much it's going to cost you and where you can find the best value for you and your team, of course. Okay, so I'm gonna kick things off with your basic features, the ones you'll use to manage that task list. Okay, spoiler, money.com has it all. First of all, you've got list, table, calendar, and Kanban views. I personally use this list view for my personal tasks and the Kanban view to create a workflow for the rest of my team. Before I get into how you can utilize all those task views, I wanna show you how monday.com can help you structure your project. So, let me guess, you've got a ton of tasks, I'm sorry. All important but well some are more important than others right then you've got a bunch of team members to manage and to delegate work to not to mention the fact that you need to work through all of this to a set deadline the role of Monday here is that it helps put all this together in a defined and clear to understand way. You can put your tasks in, assign them to your team members and set deadlines, of course. You can prioritize your tasks too. And just wait until you see the filtering options. Honestly, it's a game changer for messy workflows. And I'm a messy guy. By default, you'll see this in the main table view. But what's cool about monday.com is the amount of data you can add here. Okay, let me bring it up on screen. As you can see, that on top of the necessities like deadlines and status, you can do so much more. Things like check boxes, costs and labels can all be part of your main table view. You can even add a location so you can know where in the world a task is being worked on. You can see there's some color coding as well to really make important things pop. Okay, like red for high priority and green when work is done. I like the filtering options too because sometimes I don't need to see everything in the table. Okay, I can just filter out all the noise and zone in on what I really want. See how I can pin columns too? So if I wanna see task at all times, I just pin and even when I scroll across, it remains fixed and in view. Although monday.com really drives its main table view, Personally, I prefer working in the Kanban board. I find it less overwhelming in terms of the data it throws at you, and there's something satisfying about dragging and dropping the task through each stage of the project. If you open a task card, you're able to add more details as well. But the main part I like is the comment section. Really useful to, you know, quickly ping a message or update a link to some useful information. One pain point though I have with monday.com, with the Kanban board to be specific, it's not as easy to modify the status column names. And if you look at Trello and even Asana, they are more user friendly when it comes to setting up your workflow in the Kanban view. For example, I can rename each of the columns with ease and it doesn't feel as tight and compact as monday.com. It's not all about Kanbans though. And if I jump up to the top menu, I can switch up my views. Let me geek out for a moment, but look at that Gantt chart. If I drag the bottom corner, I can expand it to a size that suits me. Super simple, but yeah, I love it. It's also really useful that I can change my view up between days, weeks, months, and quarters, and even years. So you can adjust your view to a time frame that you need. Short projects or just super long projects, it has you covered. And 
One of the key points of using a Gantt chart is setting up your task dependencies, of course. So you can do this by adding a dependency column in your main table view. You can see they're then connected in your Gantt view as well. A useful feature I'm using is the Files tab. Okay, I can upload important files like images or documents and quickly share them with a team. We mainly use this to share our YouTube thumbnails and related documents. So you can upload PDFs too if you need. How much you can share depends on your plan. Okay, as Monday offers anything between five gigabytes to one terabyte of storage space. You can add other tabs too if the default ones are not for you. You can add Git UI to get a quick overview of your GitHub. There's also an email tab so you can send emails and I really like this one as it saves jumping into my email clients. Okay, and there's a tab where you can even create invoices too. You begin to realize here you can manage so much without having to leave the platform. I'm gonna move away from task management, but I quickly wanna show you something that will make your personal workflow much easier. Okay, here in the left-hand menu, you can select my work. This removes all other tasks that you know the other team members are maybe working on and lets you see clearly what you need to see. So you can customize what you see as well. So you'll see there's a priority view and a status view, plus a date view as well. A simple feature I know Know, but it just makes your work life that little bit easier to manage. Back in the project view, you can also filter between team members. So if you want to track the work of someone in particular, just select their name and you will just see all the tasks assigned to them. Again, simple, but the best way to get the data that you're looking for. Before we move on, I wanna to touch on dashboards, not to be confused with the boards that we just talked about earlier. Okay, confusing, I know, I know, but wait. Imagine seeing your entire team's progress at a glance. That's the power of Monday dashboards. And let me show you. I can see tasks in multiple views on one screen, and I like that you can customize it too. So if I just want a quick glance at data, I can hit the dashboard and don't need to start trawling through different pages you know, to find what I need. You'll remember I said monday.com can help you manage all areas of your business. So it's got something called Work OS. It's essentially a software suite that's similar to Google Workspace or in a more relevant sense, Zoho Workspace. Outside of project management, you can build a custom CRM for your business. This is gonna let you manage client database, look for potential sales opportunities, and store a bunch of contact data. You can link tasks to customers too and schedule things like follow-up calls if you want to close your lead. Then there's Monday Dev, which is tailored for all you software developers. That's right, I'm looking at you. Agile fans will like this one too because you can set up sprints, backlogs, and set up a product roadmap. It's very similar to Zoho Sprints, but if you're asking me, which I guess you kind of are, monday.com has created a more polished product that makes agile workflows more manageable and dare I say, more enjoyable. Another product I'll quickly cover is simply called Service. It's Monday's take on a customer service portal where businesses can manage customer interactions. You can manage ticket queries, which, let's be honest, is where you'll manage all the problems your customers actually have. I particularly like that you can set up SLA notifications too. If you're coming up to the time you've given a customer for a response, Monday service will ping you and be like, yo, let's get things moving. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. But if none of these workspace apps fit your businesses, there are some alternative options. Okay, aside from the apps, monday.com has a ton of templates, like literally a ton, something for everyone. I won't go through all of them, but you've got templates for issue tracking, form builders, marketing projects, the lot. And I think I counted over like a hundred templates across 20 different categories. So yes, like I said, something for everyone. I've been talking a lot about all the monday.com's in-house features, but I wanna touch on how it plays with third-party apps. It doesn't offer hundreds of options like Asana or thousands like ClickUp, but there's still a lot of third-party apps that you can connect to your monday.com account. Before we get to the integrations though, I wanna show you monday.com's automation and integration options. And what's great about the automations is you don't need to be an expert in code to get them up and running. Okay, Monday takes care of all of that for you. For a basic implementation, you can use automations to automatically send reminders when a task deadline is coming. Or let's say a change is made to a task 
task or it's moved somewhere else within your timeline. You can ask Monday to send a notification to the people that need to be in the know. Going a bit deeper, you can automate sending contracts to clients when they go from you know, a lead to a confirmed customer. Very useful for removing the cumbersome nature of dealing with admin. As for those integrations, you've got about 50 to play with. All the main players are there. I'm talking Slack, Zendesk, and email clients like Outlook and Gmail. And for file sharing, you can integrate with Google Drive and Dropbox, for example. You know, you can jump to Monday.com's integration page to see if you can integrate with apps within your pre-existing workflow. I'm not gonna overload you with all the apps available. But I will say there are a lot of niches in there. You've got everything from CRMs to social media apps and app integrations for managing finances and bookkeeping. I suggest taking a look around to see what is available for your workflow. Something that's gonna come a lot in software reviews is the role of AI. Pretty much all the top players have rolled out AI to some capacity within their software, and Monday.com is one of them. I know, you know, you hope AI can do all of the work, take off the task and complete the project for you, but we're not quite there yet. I wish that was the case. Monday is pretty much offering what the competition offers. Help with generating copy, making it better, summarizing text, you know, that kind of stuff. None of it is mind-blowing stuff, but this is true for you know where we currently are with generative AI, at least in project management for now. But if writing isn't your thing and you want to quickly access specific bits of data within a document, AI is certainly a helpful tool. Right now, it's only available on the pro and enterprise plan. And for me, it's not worth bumping up your account just for access to its AI tools. By the way, if you're a writer who loves writing, then you'll be happy with Monday's built-in document creator. Now, if you're familiar with content management systems like WordPress or Squarespace, then using the document creator won't be an issue. And to be honest, even if you're not familiar with a CMS, getting used to the document creator is still pretty easy. It uses a block system and you build your posts by adding different blocks. So like headings, photos, bullet points, you know, that kind of thing. And hey, you can even add lines of code if you want to integrate something into your blog post that's not available as standard on Monday. I mainly use this for long form updates for my team, but we also use it for meeting minutes and saving ideas we have during our masterminds, for example. You can also divide your documents into private and public. So either for the whole company or just selected departments. Monday.com has some great features. There's nothing really missing and I don't believe there's a project manager that would struggle completing projects with the tools on offer. I wanna zone in a little further on the design of the software as that's gonna really dictate how smooth your workflow will be. The overall design of monday.com fits perfectly with what people look for in a modern day software product. The colorful sections, soft edges, and clean and easy to read fonts puts monday.com front and center of the design awards. I wouldn't underestimate this either. We all have days we don't feel up to working. You know, a drab user interface only magnifies that. So yeah, for me, monday.com's design inspires productivity. I mainly use monday.com via the web browser. I think that's where it functions best, but you can also download a desktop app for both Windows and Mac. And if you're looking for a different user experience on the desktop app, you're likely gonna be disappointed. You know, it's the exact same as the web app. But in all honesty, while different designs are cool to play with, Familiarity is key to productivity, so I like the desktop app the way it is. At the end of the day, we just have to get our job done. Then there's a mobile app. I'm never a fan of managing projects on like a tiny smartphone, to be honest, but if you are, here's what to expect. You can see your project tasks, that's either all of them or just those relating to you. You can leave comments and tag other team members too. You can try to create a document, I guess, but guys, like honestly, it's clunky and you're best saving it for desktop. Really though, the app is for a quick glance at your work, not a space to fully manage a project itself. A quick recap. 
Features are great. I'm loving how the software runs as well, but what about costs and the way Monday structures its plans? One plan stands out as the best value for most teams, and I'll explain which one that is. The first talking point is the free plan. You can only add two users and you're limited to three active boards. Asana, for example, lets you create unlimited projects, boards, and tasks. ClickUp, another software I use, lets you create five workspaces on its free plan. So yeah, Monday.com has some catching up to do here. Monday.com's pricing, well, it depends on the plan. However, if you're someone who wants a lot of functionality, the entry level basic plan isn't worth the entry fee, if I can be honest. Okay, it doesn't even come with a calendar view, which you can actually, you know, get on all free plans elsewhere. So I don't know. There are no privacy options like private boards. Oh, and you can kiss integrations goodbye as well. So yeah, I'm not a big fan, but by the way, the next plan is only a few bucks extra and unlocks so much more. So it's not like you're even saving much on the basic plan. The magic appears in the standard plan. You get all the project views are off, more storage space, and you can run integrations as well. Still no private boards though, so perhaps not the best option for businesses with multiple teams handling company sensitive data. By the way, both the basic and standard plan come with around the clock customer support. And I've spoken to the support team a few times and always had a positive experience, which is good to know if you ever hit a crisis. The pro plan throws in some tracking tools, a dependency column, and yeah, finally private boards. You can also add Google's authentication when you sign in, which isn't available on the cheaper plans. An odd exclusion, actually, if you ask me. Also, even though they're technically the same features, you can get more for your money on the pro plan. Like instead of five boards, you get 20, and instead of 250 integration and automation actions, you get 25,000 of each. There's an extended activity log too, going from six months to one year, really useful for those long-term projects. And if you need all that functionality and rely heavily on automations and integrations, I'd put my money into the pro plan if I was you. If you don't, then for me, the best value would probably be the standard plan. There is an enterprise plan which unlocks every feature, offers you more security options like private workspaces and single sign-on, and greatly increases all the limits mentioned earlier. You'll need a sales rep to negotiate pricing on this one though, so it's outside of the reach of most teams. Overall, I like to see Monday's price brought down slightly, but I think wouldn't we all? And I think for, you know, not only the feature set, but also the quality of the software, then Monday is offering good value here. You can also get a seven day trial to try it out before making any commitments. I think I've covered just about everything there is to know about monday.com. The question for every reviewer is, would I confidently recommend it to my audience? The answer is overwhelmingly yes. Look, it's not rocket science, right? Let's be honest. And all we want is a piece of software that helps us manage the work we need to do every day. Money.com ticks that box and it does so by providing a software that's manageable, easy to use, and baked with features that can bring my team together and do the best work possible. Okay, I have zero doubt it will do the same for you. And if you've been wondering whether Money.com is the solution you need, the free trial link is below. Okay, so please try it out and let me know what features you'd want to see improved. Will you be trying Monday.com? What features do you think are missing? Let me know in the comments and please do me a solid and like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. So tap that bell icon too so you never miss a future video. Until next time, see ya. Bye bye.